Welcome to the video walkthrough for Scout the Newborn Griffin. This is Scout and Katie, and let's have some fun. Your Scout pattern is going to start with his face which is always a really fun place to start because then you get to see their little expression grow. And I love that part. So you're going to start with his beak. And the cool part about his beak is you make his lower jaw first and set it aside. And then you're going to make his beak to here with a nice big opening on the other side to branch off and make the rest of his beak. It's not going to have these pinches in it. You put those in later. So it'll look kind of oblong and goofy for a little while, but then you'll pinch it and it'll look much more griffin-like. His side frills on his face are built right on to the piece. So there's going to be a round where it tells you to work his feathers here into the front loops only of that round. And then when you come back the, um, on the next round, you're going to work in the back loops only in order to close up that space and let these kind of frill out like that. Same concept when you get to his head loops. We're going to do that in a front loop only. And this is just a... Um, chain a group of chain stitches here slip stitched back into the same stitch so they make this cute little fur on top okay his ears are all separate his eyebrows are separate and his tongue is separate and so you'll put those on after the fact so see that's not so scary and you don't have to attach these side feathers or this little bloob on top his body is one big piece one tube you're going to change colors part of the way through and use that same front loops only addition of the feathers to get his nice little frill on here. One loop is longer right there in the front or one feather is longer there in the front and that tells you where the middle is and it makes attaching everything else a lot easier because you can use these to guide yourself how far your arms are away from the middle. Same with your legs so easy peasy there. These guys are wicked fun and I had so much fun with these. I wanted him to be able to grab on. I just love it when babies grab, and so I wanted him to grab. So his thumb, you're going to work his arm, starting at the elbow, working up, and then branching off. One side of that branch is going to be his shoulder. One side of that branch is going to be his little claw. You're going to start with his thumb and then just have a big hole right here where his fingers go. So you're going to do a couple rounds even so that his hand comes up a little ways. And then work these three in a row directly opposite the thumb. And obviously all of this is written out for you. Super easy. There's pictures of each attachment or each different finger. So the claw is all laid out for you. And if you're concerned about doing things, um, merging this many pieces onto one piece, I actually have another video for that that I put in the description for you. Um, it's the exact same thing. There's just a thumb in your way this time. It'll be a breeze. There's two different ones. They mirror each other. And there's instructions for how to do that. It's literally just a couple of stitch changes on the thumb to move it from one side of the elbow to the other. Okay. His little feet. So you're going to make his legs. These are also branched, starting at the knee. And they're just one piece. Then his little feet is a round piece and a tube of balls. And you're going to go through and basically wrap a piece of string or a piece of yarn around this narrow place on each of those balls to smoosh them together and make them into toes. And then attach them by sewing straight through the round part of his foot. Attach those guys with his toes facing up. That's the most important part. On his little, the ends of his little legs and you'll have these little feet. The great part about these is you don't have to worry about getting them perfectly straight. Um, his little feet can be kicking around a bit. So if they're like this, that's totally fine. If they're like this, that's totally fine too. It's kind of a great way to get away with not having to align things perfectly straight. Yay for that, right? And then his wings. This is where some people got a little confused in testing. So I wanted to go over it. The wings start here and work out. Again, you've got your front loop only feathers to give it some texture. These are worked straight onto the thing while, or onto the wings while you're working. And then all of these are branched. You're gonna start with this feather and branch all the way up with some rounds in the middle there to give it some size. 
And then attaching this to the back is going to be pretty simple. You're going to take your pins and mark a line from mid back right here to the color change in a straight line. Then you're going to hold your wings up and from the bottom of your feathers here, you're going to match up those pins with the wing. So both of these wings are attached along the exact same line right here. Then you're going to come up here and mark where the edge of your wing connects. And you're going to mark where this point on either side touches the body. This creates a little triangle. See if you can see this little triangle here, little triangle here. And that is what's holding your wing on. So you're going to do a, a seam here underneath this feather. Then you're going to flip this over and run a seam all the way from here to here in a straight line. Easy peasy. Two little triangles are all that's holding these wings on, but it's enough to give him some flexibility so he can do what he wants with his wings. And you're also not going to have a whole lot of flop. So oh, there's a good easy way to see that attachment. So you can see right where those are, are not pulling away from the body. Dana. His tail is very simple, flat attachment. So you just press your, close your tail, you know, press it flat and seam it in right there. And then this little frill is just some feathers. Um, and you're going to attach those in a spiral on the end of the tail. So you can do this. The premium pattern is chock full of pictures. There's pictures that stop you after every finger, after every feather, um, different points in the head after every attachment so that you know exactly where your things need to be and um, exactly how you want them to look. You're going to have a blast with this one. There's a little bit of short rounds in the ears, but very, very little. Just enough to make them a nice curved piece here that you can attach them to the head and they still stand up straight. Other than that, it's a lot of branching. Very little texturing, just the feathers. And I think you're going to have a blast with this one. I absolutely love this one. My testing team absolutely loved this one. This might be our new favorite. So I can't wait to see your little scouts. Please go post them either in the gallery at hookedbykatie.com or post pictures on social media and tag me at hookedbykatie, H-O-O-K-E-D-B-Y-K-A-T-I. And I will love to see your little scouts or whatever you decide to name them. Newborn griffins need an adorable, precious name. And I'm going to go play with this guy because he's too cute and I just can't stop myself. Bye! Thanks for watching a Hook by Katie tutorial video. Please click subscribe and click that little bell so you get notifications every time I post a new video. And remember to go to hookbykatie.com for more patterns, tutorials, and guides to help you improve your art.